Hi girls, yeah, just wondering Amy, have you got any idea when your mum's coming? You're not sure, I'm just thinking it's getting a bit late. So, you know, I don't want you walking back in the dark, but I'm thinking I could always give you a lift. Now, if, um, if you're ready to go, are you ready to go? Because you've had your tea now, haven't you? And I'm thinking, you, you know, you don't want to be going to bed too late. You go to bed late every night, do you? At midnight, oh my goodness. We don't. Do you want to maybe text your mum and just say, think I'm needing a lift now, um, when are you coming? And then just let me know, because we can hop in the car and we can go, no bother. No bother at all. Will you let me know when she's replied? I'll pop my head back in in a, in a minute. All right. She's not replied. No, not yet. Maybe double text her. Give her a ring. All right. Fluff it. You have to fluff it, fluff it out. You know, I know, this, I know this isn't the most fun part. The fun part is decorating it, but you have to fluff it to decorate. It's a step-by-step -step procedure. Right, where's the Christmas tree lights now? I'm going to test the lights. Oh no. Well, only half of them are working. I can't put those on the tree. But you're going to have to go out and get some more. Finally, Dave. Right, let's test them. Oh, fabulous. We're back in business. Is that from the top, way, way down. If there's anywhere missing with lights, say lights, and I'll know what you mean. We're going to add the special ones first, like this one, and for mum, around the front, and then we're going to add the golds and reds around it. Ah, oh, no string. How annoying when that happens. We've got any spare string, Dave? No, forget it. Forget it. Red. No more reds. Oh no, I just need one more. We'll have to buy a pack of 15. Yes, that star you made in reception out of lollipop sticks is really lovely. But the tree is so full, I don't think there's any room for it. Right, if you want to put it on, that's fine. Put it on the back. Let me stand back. I'm going to put the glasses on. Oh, stunning. Get the star on. There we go. Oh, wow. I am good. What time do you call this? Hmm? You said you were going to be home half an hour ago. You're late for tea. We've eaten hours. Yours is freezing cold, so you've got cold for heaters. You're never late on for heat tonight. Where have you been? Where have you been? Not happy. Nearly sent out a search party for you. Message Chloe's mum on Facebook to see if she knew where Chloe was. She's been fuming, looking out the window for you. She knew something was wrong. She can sense it. Your dad's done nothing, just sat there stuffing his face. I've been, I've been really worried. It's getting dark now. It's getting dark. Four o'clock, absolute pitch black, basically. Well, no, I know it's not pitch black, but it's dark. I'm texting you. No reply. Why on the phone if you're not going to reply, Maisie? Hmm? I'm paying for that contract. Might cancel it. Well, you've got cold heaters made up in the kitchen, so go and eat your tea. And you can do the washing up after. I'm not happy about this. Lizzie, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's half past eight. School starts in 20 minutes. Why are you still in bed? You've slept in. Your alarm did go off because I heard it when I was getting ready. You must have just pressed snooze. Why did you snooze it? It's bad. It's a bad idea to snooze your alarm. You should never snooze your alarm. Off. Up. That should be your system. I've got to go. I've got to, I can't wait around for you to get ready. No, I'm not waiting for you to just put a bit of mascara on. Absolutely not. I've got work and I've got up at the correct time and I've not been late for you. Sorry, love. No, I thought it was quiet in here. It's a good job I came and got you, isn't it? Hmm? You've got 20 minutes to get ready and get to school. That's not happening. Right, well, I'll wait for five minutes. You've got five minutes. I suggest you get changed very quick. If you want to put mascara on that badly, put it on in the car. Just don't poke your eye because the car will be moving. What are you still doing sat there? Come on, get up. I can't believe it. She slept in. She slept in, snooze her alarm. Let me see. You are. Nelly's ripped up your slippers. Not your rug slippers. You are joking me. Macy, you only got them earlier this year. Well, you're not getting a new pair. Don't blame the dog. Do not blame the dog for ripping up your rug slippers, Macy. You shouldn't have left them on the floor. I don't leave mine on the floor. I leave mine on the bedside table, just in case. She probably thought it was this. She probably thought this was your slipper. So, you know, you've only got yourself to blame, really. Don't go, don't go looking at her like that. It's not her fault. You have to get yourself a new pair. See, look, she's probably done that with it. When she gets going, which has been quite light there, actually, but with your slippers, she obviously wasn't, let me see the damage. Oh yeah, they're gone. They're gone, you have to put them in the bin. Can't fix them, basically, they're in the bin now. You're gonna have to get some cheap ones if you're gonna leave them lying around on the floor. Don't know why you would leave anything lying around on the floor. Poor thing. It's all right, lovely. Yeah, it's not your fault, no. <laughs> waving at me. No, it wasn't your Auntie Jane. She doesn't have that car. I'm thinking now, who's got a white full focus? It was a full focus, wasn't it? I don't know. No, I didn't. There's me. Better look so gormless. Who was that? Maybe they thought we were someone else. Might, they might have thought we were someone else. That's 
going to bug me that. It's going to bug her like she dad. He's got a white full focus. Did you get the reg? You didn't. You need to look with your eyes, Maisie, for goodness sake. No, I didn't get it, but I was waving. Like that. Look ridiculous. Don't know. They might circle back. Wait, wait. Good girl. See, on dogs behaving badly, Graham says, always, always praise them. You know what they're told, always praise them. That's what Graham says anyway. Right, you can throw that on. Come on, good girl. Always praise them. Graham says. She's going to get absolutely nothing. But it's that time of year. Got to embrace it. I really could do without bathing her there. What I would recommend they do with that dog is um, hold treat as they walk so the dog is distracted because it's running off all over the place. Graham would say, keep the treat there as they walk. Heel, heel, as Graham would say. So a dog just like that, a dog's behaving badly, they couldn't sort it. Not even Graham could do it. Not even Graham could sort it out. You know it's bad when Graham can't sort it out. Ready? God. Oh my God, I nearly locked myself out. What will Graham do then? Are you awake? Ah, you are awake, finally. Right, yeah, good afternoon. Come on, what are you still doing in bed? It's very late, it's half past ten. Do you know what I've done this morning? Well, I'll tell you anyway. Got up, washed my hair, took the car to get clean, cleaned the entire house top to bottom, even hoovered, so I don't know how that didn't wake you up. Taking the dog for a walk, and I've, I've already had lunch. So, you need to get up. Don't waste the day, Macy. Whatever you do, don't waste the day. I'd get up and I'd get out there if I was you, because... Honestly, this, this might be the last bit of sun that we see for the rest of the year. I hate to say it, but it might be true. Well, I'm off to see Jill later for a coffee if you want to come. I think Jill would like to see you, but I'm not going to force you. It's up to you. But you have to get up and do something, Maisie. You can't just stay in this pit all day because it's not good for you. Do you want a cup of tea? I'll make you one. Yeah. I don't know how you just sleep in for so long. I don't know how your body physically allows you to sleep in for that long. I'm up and off me. Too much sleep isn't good for you. Remember that. Too much sleep, not good for you. Right, come on, get up. Is something wet? On the rug? Have you spilt anything? No. It's not real, is it? Is it? Well, smell it. Smell it, you have to smell it. How many smell it is? Oh, that's weak. That's weak. Smell it already. I can't believe she's done that. She's not done that in ages. She's not done that in ages. I wonder why. Well, maybe if you're in the kitchen, she's probably at the back door waiting for you to let her out. And then, and then you haven't, so she's had to come out with the rug, so... Thanks a lot, Maisie. Thanks a lot for that. You have to go, you have to go clean it. It's not new. Oh, no. Oh, it's not new. Go on, get the, get the cleaner. You clean that up. And d dab it. Dab it. Don't scrub it. Dab it. Hey, Jean, love. You're right, yeah. We've got a letter for you. Now, it came to us, but it's addressed to you. And before I even noticed, I, just, I ripped it open. Then I saw the address and I thought, oh, my goodness, that's not for me. So it is ripped over. I promise you, I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Don't call the police. <laughs> I've picked up all the posts. I'm there, ripping through it, ripping through it. Name caught my eye. I thought, oh my God, that's not me. That's not me. That's Julie. I run around as fast as I can. And I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm stay at that. So sorry, Julie. Take it from me. Take it. Didn't read it. But if you are looking to change electricity providers, you know, I'll tell you who we're with. Because if we recommend a friend, work at £50 off. I didn't read it. I didn't read it. Anyway, take care, Julie, love. Anything you need, I'm just next door. Catch you later. Bye, love. Bye. Lovely houses around here, Macy. I said to you, Dad, when we moved here, I want one of these. Still waiting. Look at the size of that. Is that one house or is it flats? That must be flats. That can't be. That's one house, Macy. Oh, my God, imagine cleaning that. I just think that you, no one needs that much house. I mean, I would have it, but it's ridiculous, really. Oh, Macy, that one's for sale. Get on right move and just see what it's on for. Can't see it being much over 300 to be honest. 385! God, you wouldn't think that, would you? Let me have a look at the pictures. Oh, they have done it nice. That's what I want in the kitchen. I want those tiles in our kitchen. That one's sold. And I tell you what, as soon as that went up, I had a little look on right move. It needs gutting. That house needs gutting. Ripping out, starting again. They've done their garden lovely, Macy. Oh, has it been there? Everyone's got the bins out, I've not got the bins out, I'm just going to get the bins out. Oh, hang on. They've got a green bin out, they've got a brown bin out. So what is it, green or brown? I'll put them both out. Oh, Macy, it's Friday. I've just walked through the door. Just give me one minute until I speak to you. Okay?
Maisie, now you can talk to me, go on. Right, Maisie, how are you feeling? Not good. Not good enough to not go to school? You want to stay at home? Right, well, you can stay at home, Maisie, if you're really not well. But remember, you've got that party tomorrow, so if you're off school today, you can't go to that party tomorrow. If you're ill enough to be off school, then you won't feel you won't feel up to the party tomorrow, will you? Really? So uh, don't don't pull that face at me. <laughs> Thank you. If you if you're well enough to go to the party tomorrow, you think, oh, do you know what? I could really pick up them. Why don't you just try school? Well, if you really don't think you can go, that's what I'm saying. You obviously you obviously really poorly. Uh, you've got a bit of colour in your cheeks, though, Maisie. I'll be honest, but I'm I'm not saying you're lying. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying. If you're really poorly, you won't be up for the party tomorrow. Right, well, stay at home then. I've got to go to work. I've got to go. So you're in on your own. And I won't be looking at that, you know, that screen all day on the phone because you'll feel worse. Eat something if you can, okay, and just get some sleep. Right, I'll see you tonight, four o'clock. See you later. Yeah, excuse me, Lucy. Delivery for you. What could you be ordering now? Seriously, I don't know what you could be ordering now. You've literally just had Christmas. Have you got money to order stuff for yourself? Yeah, well, just remember, you only got your dad a bottle opener for Christmas. He's very grateful, but I'm sure he might, you know, be a bit upset if he saw that you've been ordering yourself clothes, but only got him a metal bottle opener. What is it anyway? What's in the bag? Let me see. No, let me see. Come on, I want to see what you've ordered, please. Not like you've got enough clothes in your wardrobe. You've got stuff. You've got stuff in that wardrobe that you've not even worn. Stuff with tags on. And actually, I think you should have a clear out. Let's see. What, what is this for anyway? Loungewear. They say you've got more loungewear than I don't know what. I got you some new joggers for Christmas anyway. So what do you need more loungewear for? I'm sick of answering the door to the delivery man. I see him come up the path again. I'm not answering the door. And if the parcel gets put in a safe place. I will be removing it and putting it in an unsafe place because this is, you've got a serious issue that you need to sort out, Macy. You should be saving your money. What for? The future. Hello, I'm back. Shh, it's late. What are you doing awake? I woke you up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. What time is it? Half past one. Oh, God, don't tell me. Don't tell me that. I'm not drunk. I'm merry. It's a difference. I'm just so merry. I did have two wines. Oh no, I can't, I can't lie to you. I can't lie to you, Maisie. I had two bottles. Two. Oh, but we had a laugh. We had a laugh. We, had, we were up dancing. You should have seen Jill. She fell off the table. Yeah, they think she might have broken her leg. Listen, I'm going to have to have a cup of tea. I need it. I'm going to feel dreadful tomorrow. What do you have for your tea? Takeaway. All right, well, good night. Get to sleep. Good night. Night. Right, Macy, I'm going. going well, it's my work Christmas party, remember? So I'm going now. And look, I'm only going to be a couple of hours, but I've got to go show my face. I've got, you know me, I'd rather a weekend in. I've got to go show my face. So I'm going for a couple of hours. I'll be back. I'm not getting drunk. I'm not getting drunk. I'm going to have two wines max because. I can't be feeling badly tomorrow, Maisie. I can't do it. I can't do it. can't do it. So, two wines and I'll be back. Listen, your dad's in. He's downstairs. So if you need anything, go to him. But if it's in a real emergency, give me a call. All right? Right, look after yourself. Just get some tea. I've got your microwave meal in. Well, you know your dad can't cook. So, and if he says a takeaway, no. Says mum says no. Right? So, I'm going. Look after the dog. Right. See you later. Hello. Yes, I'm here to drop my daughter off uh, and sign her in. Well, like, yeah, no, I know that. I'm very aware of the time. Um, it's just that we've, we've had a, a stressful morning and uh, that's why I'm here to sign her in and the doors are all locked. So, yeah, well, uh, the car broke down. The car broke down. So, and unfortunately, I'm not a mechanic. So there's not much I could do about it, really. But, you know, we're here now. So, yeah, she has missed out on valuable lesson time. But, you know, she's continuing to miss out on that valuable lesson time where we have this uh, back and forth. 40 minutes, I know. I know, because I'm late for work as well, you see. So, um, is there any chance that you could just let her through the door so she could go to lesson? Because that would, you know, I think, help everybody in this situation, really. Um, so, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Right, Maisie, have a good day. See you later. Right, okay. Thank you. Bye. Here you go, Jackson. What's this for? It's money for the book fair. Emma was telling me it was this week. Oh, so you're giving us more money? What do you mean, more money? Mom gave us both money for the book fair yesterday. She did? Hey, you wanted to talk to me? Oh, yes. Um, have a seat. You're not in trouble or anything. I just wanted to chat really quickly because 
I just finished grading the quizzes from last oh, week. No. Let me see, where are you? And I wanted to show you your score. Oh, oh my God. Yeah, no, I know. I saw that and I was like, what? I, I couldn't believe that it was you, but you know what? This kind of stuff happens. I know you do well in this class, so that's why I wanted to talk to you. And just, you know, was it the material that was difficult or were you not really able to study? I just didn't have time to study because my grandpa's in the hospital, so my mom and oh. dad have been at the hospital with yeah. him and I had to take care of my brother that all week. That's fair. And you know what? If that ever happens in the future, you can always talk to me about that. <laughs> you know, if, if you need a little bit of extra time or if you want to stay after class, you know, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. Okay, well, thank you. Yeah, no, of course. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't see the score. I'm just gonna put this on the opposite side of my desk and I'm gonna send you home with another test. It's gonna be the same material, but it's just gonna be different questions. Okay. And you know, since you'll be at home, you can use the book. Uh, if you need to ask a friend, you can always ask me. I'd be more than happy to help you with it. And um, let's see, it's Wednesday. Do you think you'll be able to finish by Friday? Yes. Perfect. And you know what? I'm not gonna put this score in the system yet. I'm gonna wait until you give me your new test on Friday and we'll use that score in place of this one. <gasps> Thank you. Yeah, no, of course. You play Never Have I Ever. No. Yes. yes. No, seriously, guys, I can't play. What? I can't. I always lose every single time. Okay, I'll do 10 and you guys do five or else I'll be out right away. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. <sighs> never Have I Ever lied about taking birth control oh, that's not fair the first one oh never have i ever cheated stop you guys are trying to get me out seriously never have i ever lied to a friend oh my gosh Wait, what? No, we're not allowed to ask questions that's the point of the game you can't ask questions never have i ever hooked up with a friend's ex oh. did you see i put a finger down yeah that's crazy <laughs> you guys don't want to know you don't want to know what happened yeah it's so fucked up never have i ever made up a rumor about someone i think i have to put two fingers down for that one oh my, my entire hand is already out see i told you that's why i needed the 10 <laughs> Sarah doesn't even have three fingers down yet. I know, I'm just crazy. I do crazy things. I'm like, ah. that's why I have four fingers left. Brittany, go. Okay, um, never have I ever shoplifted? That's lame. Do another one. I would have put my finger down if you had said the other guy, but it's fine. <laughs> that pretty much still counts, right? Should I put my finger down anyway? Okay, your turn. Oh, my turn? Never have I ever went to a strip club on a Friday night and stole all the money off the ground. <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I'll put my finger down. No, 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 that's not how the game works. It's fine. I mean, no one else did, so that was a waste of a round otherwise. Yeah, that's genuinely not cool. Well, that's that's not the point of the game. You guys are making me look so bad. <laughs> yep, two left. Oh, Carly just put down her last finger. <laughs> oh, I mean, but she lose. only had five fingers up, so. Oh my god, you're crazy, yeah. girl. Normally, I, I lose. See, this is why it's no fun to play with me. Do you guys want to play again? Like, four people showed up, and we were like... Everything okay? Uh, uh, just hold on. <sighs> what happened? Nothing. Nothing. What? No, we're good. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think we should leave at like eight or nine? Um, yeah, that's fine. What does that mean? Are you sure everything's okay? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm good. Are you crying? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, guys. No, I'm good. <laughs> so then my dad Whose was toe like, does this look like? What? I don't know. Madison's? Why would I know that? Anne-Marie just told me it looked like Madison's toe. Do you guys want to drive by Grayson's house? No. Just like real quick. It's like on the way. Not even close. No, just like we'll just and take- And honestly, that's really creepy and weird. Well, I just need to, I need to check something. Your freckles. Are you good? Uh, no, everything's fine. But I heard <laughs> screaming. We're good. Just one second, okay? Oh my God. Stop it. Three, three times. Are you going to come hang out? I'm coming. You've been out there an hour. Stop it. I don't wear Maybelline eyelashes. Do I wear Maybelline eyelashes? L Lindsay, do I wear Maybelline eyelashes? I don't know. No, she said no. Whoa. What the hell was that? Whoa. I'm fine. No, everything's fine. No, I'm good. I'm here for the job interview. Great. And which position were you interviewing for? The interview. Right. Well, what time was your interview? Um, today. With who? <coughs> Did you hear my question? Should I sit? Yeah, no, I'm going to need a little bit more detail if you want me to help you here. Like what? Like what position you're interviewing for? What time is it? 3.23? No, sorry, I'm not available at that time. Okay, um, I, I have no idea what's happening. When will the interview start? Whenever you tell me who the hell you are and why you're here. No, thank you. Okay, wonderful. Well, in that case, you can go. Can I reschedule? For what? My interview. I just told you. Okay, I'm sorry, did someone call you to schedule an interview or did you come in here just trying to schedule a random interview? Exactly. Okay, that doesn't answer my question. Okay. You know what? What time do you want your interview to be? Um, it depends. I'm not really available. Great, so should I just not put down a time? 
I could do Saturday at 8. Saturday at 8? Great, I'll go ahead and jot that down and uh, it'll be a phone interview so we'll call you. Don't call us. At 8? Mm-hmm, yeah, sure. Sorry, I'm not available. Oh, what the f- Sorry, but it looks like the card you gave me isn't a debit or a credit card. Oh, it's a gift card. Oh, okay, well this is not a gift card for our restaurant. What do you mean? Ah, uh, well it looks like it might be for Olive Garden. Okay. We'll see you're not at Olive Garden, you're at the restaurant I never named. Oh, that's okay, just go ahead and run it. No, no, I'm telling you the card won't even work in our system. Uh-oh, is your system down? No, no, I, no, it's just that your card won't do anything in our system. Well, then why do you sell them? We sell gift cards that work in our restaurant, but this one is for Olive Garden. There's supposed to be like $25 on there. And you can spend all of that at Olive Garden, but in the meantime, I'm gonna need another form of payment. But someone gave me that as a birthday present. Hmm. Okay, how do I get the money off of it if you won't run the card? Okay, you can only use it at Olive Garden. You cannot use it here, it will not work. Well, can you call them to see if their banking is working? It's, it's not a banking issue, it's a card with a set amount on it. So then can I use that amount? Sure, at Olive Garden. Well, that's confusing. Do you have another card you wanna use? No. So then how do you intend to pay for this? Um, I, I mean, I guess we could use this one. Great, thank you. This is a Dave and Buster's card. Yeah, I think there's like 1,600 points on there. Okay. The party of two. Oh, that was quick. You can follow me right this way. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. We didn't want to sit over here. What do you mean? I just prefer to sit by a window with a view. Oh, well, it looks like all of our window seats are currently taken. Oh, that's okay. I'll wait. I just can't guarantee how long of a wait it'll be. That's no problem. I'll just call you when one opens up. Great. And how long will that be? Again, I'm really not sure. But just like ballpark, like five, 10 minutes. Uh, honestly, it could be anywhere between 10 minutes to an hour. I'm not really sure. Okay, because I've already been waiting, so I just don't want to wait too much longer. Well, I'd be happy to sit you right now. It just wouldn't be at a window seat. No, no. Okay, so then I'll call you when a window table opens up. <laughs> okay, well, kind of thought I'd be eating by now. Hmm, ring-a-ling-a-ling. -a Thanks for calling this restaurant. How can I help you? Excuse me. Yes, we're open till 11 tonight. One moment. Only one more moment until my window table is ready? Perfect. Yeah, that should be no problem. Well, that's very polite of you. See you then. What? I believe it's been one minute. I was on the phone, that wasn't about you, but I can see you anywhere else. If I sit somewhere else, how will I see the birds? I don't know. I only sit by the birds. But you aren't looking at the birds right now. Trust me, I know. Well, you seem fine. Come on, Quarantina, we're leaving. That was really weird. Hi there. Sorry about that. How oh, it's okay, there's you? two of us. Party of two, okay. Yep. Um, any chance you'd want to sit by a window? I just had uh, a seat Yeah, open sure. Up. Perfect. I think I just saw a window seat open up. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, I just sat someone there. B but I've been waiting. Yeah, but then you left. Kids! What's up? Yes, Dad? You guys really like these vitamin gummies now, don't you? Yeah, I do. They're yummy. Which one of you switched them? It wasn't me. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to check the camera. Hey, what are you doing? I'm playing Fruit Ninja. Lame, Angry Birds is where it's at. Heck yeah. Where'd you get those silly bands? Oh, Marcus gave them to me. We're boyfriend, girlfriend now. You are? Yeah, I was singing that song. I was like, I thought I said cheese stick. Now we're boyfriend, girlfriend. Whoa, that's like crazy romantic, right? It was iconic. More iconic than Lady Gaga's meat dress. What? Lady Gaga wore a dress made out of meat last week and everyone's talking about it. It's disgusting. It is, but it's also kind of cool. Like my iPod Nano. Ew, that's so 2005. My new iPad is where it's at. Whoa, that thing's huge. That's what she said. Ew, and by the way, we haven't even kissed yet. Okay, well, I was gonna kiss you yesterday under the bleachers, but I got nervous. Wait, have you kissed anybody before? Yeah, a bunch of girls. He's lying. I saw in Mythbusters if you look to the top left corner, that means you're lying. Okay, fine, I haven't kissed anybody, but you know what? Nick Jonas is waiting for marriage too. To kiss somebody? I think so, but he is dating Miley Cyrus right now, and like, who wouldn't want to kiss Miley Cyrus? Actually, I think he's dating Selena Gomez. That's true, I read it in Teen Vogue magazine at the dentist last week. Okay, well, I gotta go to practice, but I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. Yep, bye. Come on in. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Smith. Whoa, your Christmas tree is huge. Yeah, we had to use a ladder to decorate. It was low-key kind of scary. Oh, hey, Maddie. Yep, yeah, my family usually has a fake Christmas tree that smells like dirty basement. Oh, hey, what took you so long getting here? My mom drives like a grandma. Same. I do not. I put the Mercedes on cruise control and go exactly the speed limit, unless I'm late to my Pilates class. Oh no, can't be late to Pilates. Hey Nicholas, I got you a Christmas present. You did? How sweet. Oh, that reminds me, Remy made Christmas cookies this morning. Do you guys want some? Yes. Wait, who's Remy again? Oh, he's our personal chef. Nick, I feel bad I didn't get you anything. That's okay, just having you here is my gift. Ugh, I still can't get over the fact that you're dating my brother. Hey, we're not dating, we're just like hanging out. We've got on two dates and they went pretty 
But if you ask me, hey, language. Sorry, but it's true. Hey, do you want to decorate gingerbread houses? Sure. We opened some of our presents yesterday and I got the coolest gingerbread house making kit. Why'd you already open your presents? We had so many gifts under the tree, it threw off the whole aesthetic of the living room. Oh, must be nice. Have you opened your presents yet? No, we're waiting till Christmas. What was that? Ah! What? What's going on? Your dad fell off the roof putting up the Christmas lights. God, my aunt's in the hospital. Should I go get the vlog camera? Yes, it sounds like it was a skiing accident. Finally, some good content. Okay, pretend you're asleep. Right now? Yes, right now. Okay, you don't have to be mean about it. Shh, we're rolling. Hey guys, today I'm gonna pull a prank on my wife by putting ketchup on her face. She's asleep right now. Dude, you moved. Ugh, start over. Hey, remember we need to film that apology video today. Ugh, today? Yes, we can't post any normal content until we release it, and I need you to look sad. Like this? No, more like this. Hey guys, there's something that we've been wanting to address lately. Whoa, that was good. Right? People are totally gonna forgive us for e Are we bad people? Yeah, but the internet loves us for some reason. Hey, babe. What? Name a woman. Um, you? Correct. If he said anything else, I was gonna make him buy me a designer bag. Well, guess what, babe? What? I got you a new bag anyways. Babe! Today, we're finally revealing the name of our future TikTok star. I was hoping for a boy, but it looks like we're getting a little princess. And her name is going to be Lake and Finley Barbie Abraham Smith. The whole birth process is going to be on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. God, I need to take a sh Kids, who's ready to decorate the tree? Do we have to? Come on, it'll be fun. Honey, it's tiny. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey, go grab the decoration box while I try to find something to cut the bottom with. Here, just use the bread knife. It's kind of like a saw. Do you really think that? That's gonna work. I don't know. I'm not a logger. Can I go back to my room? No, we're doing this as a family. Ow, I got a splinter. Well, suck it up. We all have problems, okay? Honey, this looks bad. Here, let me fix the star. Is this all the lights we have? I don't know. You're the Christmas lady. Christmas lady? Can we just get this over with, guys? Yes, okay. Make sure the balls are evenly distributed. That's what she said. Now, just decorate the tree. Come on, guys. You used to love decorating the tree. Well, we're grown up now, Dad. I mean, I am. I'm not sure about him. What? Okay, look. We're gonna alternate colors so we can have an aesthetic looking tree for once. Why? Are you trying to be instant? famous or something? What's that? Is that some TV show? No, mom. Ooh, one second. I have to take this. Hello? Jeez, Louise. It's gonna be Christmas by the time we get this thing done. Hey, do you think these are still good? How old are they? They expired in 2020. This should be fine. It's just a candy cane. Mom, that's so irresponsible. Irresponsible? Okay, then let's talk about you sneaking out last night. What? Busted. Sorry, that was grandma. She asked if we could host Christmas this year. And what did you say? I said yes. Now the tree has to look good. Okay, everyone in. Family huddle. Oh my god. What? Don't turn around, but there's a girl I went to high school with over there. The brunette? Yes. Oh, let's go say hi. No, you know social interactions give me stress sweats. Well, she's coming over here, so you better go hide. Alicia? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Oh, just running errands. Ugh, long time no see. Right? It's been what, like nine, ten years? Are you doing okay? You look like you're sweating a little bit. Shut up. Has it really been a decade since we graduated? Yeah, I just got invited to our ten-year reunion. Jeez, maybe it's time I start getting Botox finally. Right? Look at these wrinkles. Not right now, though. I'm due with this little guy in March, and kids are expensive. Congrats. Can't believe you're gonna be a mom. Yeah, actually, he's our third. John and I have two little ones at home. John Smith? Yeah, that's my husband. I think he works with my dad. He kind of looks like Ed Sheeran a little bit. Yep, that's him. Wow, small world. Hey, did you see Adams in town? No, I thought he was in prison. Nope, apparently he's out on good behavior or something. What? Yeah, and Lily's here too. Yeah, I saw she lives in California now and a Apparently she made out with Machine Gun Kelly or something. I have no idea. Man, why is it so fun gossiping about people you went to school with? Right? So glad I ran into you. I know, but we probably should get going. Okay, girl. See, that wasn't so bad. <sighs> My God, you're ridiculous. Hey, come on in. Is that us? It's our Christmas tree. The cat kept knocking ours down, so we just got rid of it. Oh, do you think we look alike? People say we look alike. Yeah, I mean, you guys kind of have the same eyes. Speaking of eyes, I'm exhausted. I've been up since 5 a.m. Oh, why'd you wake up at 5? Somebody decided it was time to wake up. He's like my personal little alarm clock. He just comes in and wakes you up every morning? Yeah, he'll climb on my head or knock stuff off my dresser until I eventually get up. Why don't you just lock him out of the room? Because it makes him sad, and plus, he'll just howl at the door until I get up anyways. Cats don't howl. Oh, yes, they do, but I wouldn't trade this little muffin for anything, would I? Ugh, does he always shed that much? Yeah, my clothes are always covered in hair, and the carpet sometimes has puke on it, so watch your step right there. Well, if he's puking all the time, why don't you take him to the vet? I have. They say it's anger pukes. What? Apparently, cats puke out of spite when they don't get what they want. No offense, but he kind of seems like a pain in the ass. Hey, don't you talk about my baby like that. Sorry. Yes, if I didn't have a cat, I'd be way richer and way less tired, but I also wouldn't have the will to live. No, I get it. That's how I feel about my kids. Hey, what are you going to do if you have a kid one day and they're allergic? Get rid of the kid. <laughs> Kidding, but that's not gonna happen. Sorry, okay, you ready to go? Yes, just give me like 10 minutes to say goodbye to my little baby. Right, what do you think? Oh, wow, it's perfect. Are you sure? Yeah, no, I love it. <laughs> babe, it's so bad. What? <laughs> Can I come over, please? Yeah, I'll leave the door unlocked. Hey, babe. What? What'd you do? I got a haircut. Do you like it? Yeah, it's different. <sighs> you hate it. No, babe, you look good. Are you sure? I feel like you're just saying that. No, you look like Joe Dirt. What? 
That must be my best friend. She'll tell me the truth. Wait, how does she know where I live? Oh God, what did she do to you? Is it that bad? You look like Joe Dirt. That's what he said. Dude, all I wanted was cute bangs like yours or Taylor Swift's and now I have this mullet. Just go get me some scissors and I'll try to help you out, okay? No, come on, it's not like I'm gonna make it any worse. Fine. Wait, what are you guys doing? She's gonna try to fix my hair. No, babe, you're beautiful just the way you are. It's very nice, but you don't have to lie to me. I'm not lying, I think it's kind of edgy and fun. Really? It's kind of giving like girl Billy Ray Cyrus. Girl, do not listen to him. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna leave it. What? Okay. Did you at least chew out your hairdresser? No, I said I loved it and tipped her 20%. You what? Girl, you've got to stand up for yourself. It was awkward and I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Oh my goodness. You know I think you're pretty no matter what, but I want you to have this. I hate my life.